The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's talk about how we got to this point and the progress that he's made. Well, the thing that really has transformed things for Matthew has been TMS, uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's MRI strength magnetic pulses that we use to stimulate the brain. And we treat one part of the brain to treat depression, and it's really helped that, and it's also helped curb the urges of his addiction, got him through a difficult detox off of OxyContin, which we did. And then we treated a different part of his brain to treat his phantom limb pain. And his phantom limb pain has gone away now, at least that's what he, what he tells me. And so we're, we're at an amazing point now where he's off of pain medicine and not having pain, thanks to the TMS. Is this something that is more readily available now to the rest of the country? Well, TMS is FDA approved to treat depression, but we do find other uses for it. And treating phantom limb pain has been one of the new exciting uh, prospects for it. Phantom limb pain, you're having pain in, in the limbs that have been amputated. So the problem actually isn't with the legs, the problem's in the brain. And we target these magnetic pulses at the part of the brain that represented his legs to calm that area down and get it working normally again. So part of your recovery, emotional, psychological, Brian. First and foremost, Matthew, to see you walk on that stage so proud is, is amazing. It's extremely gratifying. We actually would joke about it and said, you know what, when you walk on stage, I want you to moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. But um, one of the most poignant things that I recall is the first thing you told me was the look in your mom's eyes when she saw you for the first time stand up. And one of the great things about Matthew is this unrelenting eagerness and desire, especially what he's been through, such a life-changing event overnight. What's really critical is to instill hopefulness because someone that experienced such a traumatic event Hopelessness mm -hmm. is something you want to avoid. And so one thing we do is we create opportunities where Matthew can achieve micro victories. Because what that lends to is a sense of self-efficacy, which is one's belief that he or she could be successful. Because self-efficacy increases motivation, optimism, and hopefulness. Matthew, was there a transformative moment that you can look back at where in that moment, everything changed for you? There's been so many. I mean, like, from being on the show, which I gotta say a big thanks to the doctor show for you guys have provided me with the tools that I needed to be able to get clean and sober, and that in inspired the motivation and the, and the courage to go forward. But um, <laughs> I think that, uh, Another big transformation was when I got in contact with Fred Hernandez, the amputee advocate you guys provided me with, and when he gave me the gentleman's information that turned me on to the bilateral above knee boot camp, that I think was the number one biggest like eye-opening event was being able to get to go and be with all the other bilateral. And, and it sounds to me like you've made some good friends. I have, I've met some incredible people and some truly inspirational. Some people. of your lifelong friends yeah, too. Yeah, some friends that this. I'm gonna be having for the rest of my life, for sure. Well, what's, what's cool is we knew how important this moment was for Matthew, and Matthew has created a lot of friends throughout his life, throughout this journey. And uh, what about those friends? Uh, Donato's my best friend ever, Cameron Clapp is one of the best mentors I could have ever imagined. And my buddy Clayton there on the right, he's been my swimming buddy since, uh, since I decided to sign up for the Challenged Athletes Foundation Triathlon here coming up at the end of this month. 